Wahoo is excited to announce the new PowerLink Zero Advanced Power Pedal System. Based on the innovative Speedplay platform, the PowerLink Zero pedal makes training with power even easier. Combined with Wahoo's expertise in training with power, it brings accurate power to an innovative and proven pedal platform. The PowerLink Zero is a dual-sided pedal-based power meter built on the innovative Speedplay system. This powerful combination creates an unrivaled power pedal that helps cyclists optimize performance and break through to the next level. The spindle-based design makes it easier to move the power meter between multiple bikes. No more taking off your rear wheel or swapping cranks to get power across every bike in your arsenal. Let's check out what comes in your box of the PowerLink Zero pedal. In the box, you'll find two PowerLink Zero pedals, charger cable, and two charging clips, cleats for the pedals, cleat assembly screws, and quick start guide to set up your PowerLink Zero pedals. Some other tools needed for assembly are an eight millimeter Allen key for putting your pedals onto your bike and a number two Phillips screwdriver for assembling your cleats and dialing in your cleat position. Let's talk about the product features of the PowerLink Zero. The PowerLink Zero utilizes the unique Speedplay pedal platform and offers many unique features. PowerLink Zero is the only pedal-based power meter that allows you to clip in to both sides of the pedal body. The spring that connect your pedals and cleat are on your cleats on your shoe, not on the pedal. No fumbling or fussing, just step, clip in, and be the first off the line. Three access cleat adjustability and rotational free float. PowerLink Zero is the only pedal-based power meter that does not have a spring trying to recenter the shoe, which allows you to pedal in a neutral motion. The speed play cleat can be adjusted fore aft, left right, and rotationally. Combined with rotational free float or the degrees of movement the ankle has when clipped in, this adjustability gives you the largest range of options when perfecting your cleat alignment. By aligning the cleat to your needs, it reduces the stress on your knees and ankles, allowing you to feel more comfortable on the bike. With two types of tension cleats, standard and the new easy release tension cleat, you can customize your clip in tension to get the feel that you want. Both of these cleats work with the PowerLink Zero pedal and the entire range of Wahoo Speedplay pedals. The new walkable cleat provides enhanced walkability off the bike. The slimmer cleat and rubberized texture provide greater confidence when walking in road shoes. When it comes to ease of maintenance, with the new Zero maintenance bearing system, the bearings are now sealed, meaning there is no need to grease your pedal for regular maintenance. Some other key features of the PowerLink Zero include cornering clearance and power transfer. We have reduced the stack height, meaning the distance between the shoe and the center of the pedal. This allows you to lean further into the corner, maintain your speed, and accelerate to the line. With less material between your foot and pedal, less power is lost when pedaling. The PowerLink Zero has many software features that you can use during your training sessions. You can connect your PowerLink Zeros using Ant Plus, multiple BLE to the Wahoo Fitness app, Element Bike Computers, and other compatible devices. Here are the steps within the Wahoo Fitness app to connect your PowerLink pedals. Ensure the PowerLink Zero pedals are nearby and connected. Navigate to the sensor detail page. Add sensor, set up wizard, scroll down to the PowerLink Zero and press select. Hit continue, wait for the app to find the pedals, pair, and check that the firmware is up to date. Okay, here are the Element Bike Computer steps. Step one, wake up your PowerLink pedal and hold it near your element. Rotate the pedal around the spindle until the blue LED lights are awake and blinking. Press the side power button to access the settings menu. Scroll to add sensor and press add. To calibrate, press the select button. The Element Bike Computer will notify you when the calibration is complete. By adding each pedal's power output together, you will get your total power. With power accuracy within 1%, you know you will get the most out of every training session. Temperature Compensation While you're out on a ride, the PowerLink Zeros will automatically adjust to the ambient temperature, ensuring that the power remains accurate. PowerLink Zero features left-right balance, 
understanding how your power differentiates from leg to leg is crucial to understanding your personal physiology and improving your training. Left-right balance is a metric that you can select in your Element Companion app. The dual-sided power meter will display a percentage of power on both left and right to your connected device. The PowerLink Zero rechargeable battery has up to 75 plus hours of ride time and can be used on the longest of rides. Low battery warnings will be displayed on your Element Bike computer, Wahoo Fitness app, and when the LED indicators on the pedal display three red flashes. When the LED indicators flash green, it indicates a fully charged battery. To recharge the pedals, place the charging clips on the power pod. When plugged in, the LED lights will blink green to indicate that the pedals are charging. The installation process for the PowerLink Zero Cleat is the same installation process for all Speedplay pedals. You can watch the complete installation process in our video library, but here is a brief overview. I've got my right shoe, I've got my right base plate and right base plate cover. Make sure that that is firmly attached. Make sure the base plate is flush against the sole of your shoe with as little gap as possible. It may be necessary to use the shims provided to create the best possible fit. I'm gonna install the three black screws into the three pinholes on the base plate of my shoe. Now with the base plate installed, we are going to grab the right cleat and spring. We're gonna take the four tiny screws, use the X pattern to tighten your screws one by one. These make 2.5 Newton meters is all that these screws need to be securely fastened to the cleat. And just like that, we have now successfully attached our base plate and spring to our shoe. Once all steps have been complete and your shoes are properly adjusted to your fit, you can place the rubber walking cover over the entire setup, make sure it's securely fastened, and then you're ready to ride. If you ever find that your shoe is making contact with the PowerLink Zero Power Pod, you can use the gray shim, which is included in your PowerLink kit. This shim will go between the base plate and the spring, making sure that you have adequate clearance between your shoe and the pedal contact point. Well, there we have it, folks. Thank you for tuning in and learning a little bit more about the Wahoo PowerLink Zero pedal.